Hello world, Lock Picking Dev. Today I have an old school American Lock Series 260. This thing has uh, been a little bit of a pain for me. I think it's the tension on it and I'm trying to figure out. But uh, it's got some decent fitting on it and security pins like a typical Master Lock. So uh, let's get in here and see if we can get it open. Four. One. Oh, hell. Oh, shit, that's our open. I had to have just bumped it just right in there. Um, I haven't picked this in a minute. And, uh, yeah, I've been having a hard time with this. Holy hell. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> All right, now I don't have to carry this everywhere. Yeah, here's American Lock Series 260. I will get home and gut this. Like I said, here's the bidding. I think what happened there probably helped too is this tension. I think I may have been tensioning too hard. And sometimes these pry bars make me do that. So when I do that, I switch to a windshield wiper one. Yeah, here's our bidding. Good bidding. And we are at the Capitol Reef National Park. This is Cohab Canyon. I'm going to stand up here without falling to my death. As you can see, I am really high up here on a big rock. And yeah, let's take a look around. I found this uh, national park by accident. I finished up with Canyonlands and I had no idea this was here. Really close, so I decided to come here today. We were just at the south overlook to the left there. And now we're at the north overlook of Cohab Canyon Capitol Reef National Park. All right, that was an American Lock 260, and I'll be home soon to cut that for you. All right, we're back home with our American 260, and I'm gutting it right now, and it's a little different. So it looks like one of these types of cylinders right here. So not our normal little key and knob type cylinder that we see in American Locks. And in order to gut this one, if we look in the back here, Actually, if we zoom in a better, we have two pins right here that stop the core from moving in both directions. And <clears throat> I can get under this one right here. In fact, I think I can do it with the key in. Yep. So I can turn it, I can get under this one right here, and I can push that one. Sorry about the focus. Can kind of push that one out to the side there so I can get this one out. I've already got it to move a little bit, but this one right here actually just goes straight into the core. There's it's not protruding inside of the um, the core at all. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave this one off because that top pin will still block it. If I go this way, it'll still block it from going all the way to where our pins might drop out the bottom. So it's it's no big deal there. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pin out. I'm going to shave that one off the side and uh, we'll gut it that way and be right back. All right, we're back. And that's exactly what I ended up doing is drilling out the side pin on the plug there and just taking that top pin out right there. And I was able to remove the plug that way and gut it. 
And I'm glad I did because these pins really surprised me. So uh, I'm used to American locks having some serrations on the bottoms with their taller pins. And the top pins here seem to see seem to be a type of uh, barrel pin with no lip on them. So kind of tapered almost. Yeah, all the drivers are that way. So yeah, very cool. And then and here's our bidding, some really good bidding there. And uh, this American 260 in general, it feels like it had some good spring tension on it. At least it felt like it in my hand. All right, I wanted to show that the lock does still function even with that pin missing. So you can see we can turn it all the way to the left there now because that pin is missing, it still opens. Something funny that happens is when you shut it, it just goes all the way to the left now. But there's nothing wrong with it, it doesn't do anything wrong. But yeah, here we go. Still functional, American Series 260. All right, everyone, thanks for watching.